For quite a while I've been wanting to 3D print an RC airplane, so naturally I jumped on Thingiverse and did a quick search, and after scrolling through a few pages I found this super cool airplane that I thought would make an awesome addition to my hangar. I downloaded the files, completed the parts list, and got ready to start building the airplane. The first step was just to print all the parts. In total it was about 40 components, and it took about 2 weeks to print. Once I had all the parts printed, I just laid them out on the floor in the way that the aircraft would be assembled. That way I could get a game plan of how I wanted to put everything together. Alright, let's get assembling. I chose to put the fuselage section together first, that's just my preference. If you do want to build this airplane, check the link in the description for the files for the airplane. Once I made it to the aft section of the fuselage, I installed the elevator control servo and then glued the last section into place. After this was complete, it was onto the horizontal stabilizer. Using some barbecue skewers and some glue, I glued them together, and then I glued in a three-piece elevator using some super glue and some CA hinges. To finish the tail section, all that was left to do was to glue the vertical stabilizers to the horizontal stabilizer. It is worth noting that this aircraft does not have controlled rudder, so it does slip in some turns as you will see a little bit later. Here it is glued to the rest of the fuselage. Now we were on to wing assembly. The wings get assembled similar to the fuselage where there's two 6mm carbon fiber tubes on each wing that act as a wing spar. Each wing section slides on one over the other until you've completed the wing just as we can see right here. Once the left and the right wings are completed, I glued them together using super glue and then took a piece of packing tape and ran it from both sides just to hold the shape while the glue set. Once the glue is set, it's time to install the ailerons. Just using super glue and CA hinges as I did on the elevator, I just installed this three piece aileron on the right wing, checking to make sure the aileron moves freely as the glue sets. Once that's done, the only thing that's left to do to finish up our wing is to glue the wing tip on, install the electronics, and give one more check to make sure the ailerons move freely. Moving back to the fuselage, I mounted my motor and my 70 amp ESC. Using a soldering iron, I then removed the excess plastic from the battery compartment. Then all that was left to do was to plug a receiver in, install a battery, program the transmitter, and take it out for a test flight. Okie dokie. You've got a Run Cam 5 just masking taped onto the top of this airplane. So hopefully it comes back in one piece. I've got a timer set, I don't know, 2.15 or so. I think we're just going to send it and hopefully it comes back in one piece because kind of spent a lot of time on this. I can just figure out how to throw the thing. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting there's no rudder. She flies good. Let's bring her in for a low pass. This is half throttle. Half? Yeah. This airplane is awesome. It's fast, it's fun, it's agile. The only thing I wish I could change about it was to actually add a rudder as a control surface. You can see in this clip right here that it kind of slips through the air when it's going through a turn, so a rudder would be nice. But other than that, it is a great time. Check out some of these super cool shots we got with the drone and the onboard cameras. This plane was pretty easy to print. Being my first 3D printed plane, I thought it was a very manageable project. However, this plane isn't for the beginner flyer, so it's best to have some flights under your belt before building something like this. It took less than a spool of filament, and the parts to build this plane came in at less than 100 bucks. I'll put a parts list as well as links for all the parts I used in this build in the description of this video. Overall, I would highly recommend this airplane build. It's a great time, and it really wasn't that time intensive. She flies great, and she buys great. It's a pretty affordable and easy way to start learning to build 3D printed airplanes. Plus, this airplane can be printed with standard PLA, and that was a big plus for me. Well, at this time, we'd been flying around for a little bit, so it was time to bring it in for a landing. Let's hope we don't break it too bad. Off. Oh no! <laughs> that wasn't my best landing, but it certainly wasn't my worst. We broke a rubber band and the vertical stabilizer fell off. With a little super glue and a new rubber band, this plane will be back in the sky in no time. Well, I think that's about a wrap on this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit subscribe. I've got a couple other 3D printed projects coming up here in the future, and also some other RC aircraft videos. And a big thanks to DJ for the sweet drone shots. Suck a cock. 
Love you too, DJ. Thanks again for watching. Blue skies and tailwinds, my friends.